Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the 4th day of December. Here we go. Well, Wednesday, the 4th of December, it's not often that you'll hear a secular calendar date listed as a halachic item, but December 4th is one of those days. You see, when it comes to deciding outside of Israel when it's time for us to switch over to saying v'sein tal umatar livracha, that's when we start asking for rain. We wait until it's officially the rainy season outside of Israel, and based on a whole bunch of solar calculations, based on the solar calendar, it comes out to be December 4th at night. So Wednesday night, this um, Wednesday night, December 4th at night, that's the time that we switch over to saying the same Talamat Libracha. That's when we'll start requesting rain outside of Israel. Those people who had lived in Israel, they do it on a whole other kind of calculation, and they already started more than a month ago. But for us outside of Israel, we start uh, asking the same Talamat Libracha in a regular, non secular leap year. We start doing that on uh, December 4th. If you forget to say the same Talamat Libracha, you need to repeat your Shmona Esrei. If you don't know what you did, and I hope that doesn't happen to you, but that can happen if you space out while you're saying Shemona Esrei. If you don't know what you did, you have to assume that you probably did what your old habit was, and your old habit was to say the same Baracha, and therefore you would have to repeat the Shemona Esrei because you did not say the right thing. If you catch yourself and you remember halfway through the Baracha, you can, you can insert it where it belongs because you haven't gotten to the point of kind of like no return yet because you're still in the Baracha, you haven't even ended the Baracha, then you could say it, in its right place and then continue. If you have finished this saint, the bracha of uh, Barei Chalenu, then you can still insert it in Shema Chalenu. That's the bracha that sums up all of the requests that we make. And just before you get to the words Ki Shomea, in the end of Shomea Tefillah, that's like your last chance to make any private requests. Um, you can ask that request just then and say, the same Tal Umatar Lif Racha, and you can insert it then. If you want to uh, make certain that you never get this wrong, and sometimes you will say, oh my gosh, I don't remember what I did, then what you could do is say the words of Eskal, Mine, Suasa, Latava, Vesein, Talamat, Zalibracha, basically the words that come right before it and it. Say that 101 times, then you're kind of in the habit of saying it fully the right way. And then even if you forget what you did, you could assume that based on your new habit, you got it the right way. Otherwise... Whenever you don't remember what you did for the first hundred or so Shemona Esrays, you're going to have to assume 101 to be official, 90 according to some others, but basically for about the next three months you'd have to be unsure about, uh, I'm sorry, not three months, but 90 times, which takes about a month. Uh, three Shimon Esri's a day very approximately. So, bottom line, maybe make it your plan to say it 101 times with the words right before it all attached, and then your habit switches over to the right thing, and then you'll never have to doubt yourself because halakhically your habit has switched over. If that's complicated in any way to you, please discuss it with your rabbi. Just wanted to get you to know the basics on that. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.